Hello students. After so many days, we are here. As you all know that because of the current situation, we are not able to come to school and do our study like regular classroom study. That's why our management thought that your study should not get suffered. So they planned online videos for you people. As you all in class 12th, welcome all of you. For accountancy, we will start with our part two book. This is the book, actually the book which you are going to uh, purchase. This is Analysis of Financial Statement by T.S. Greta. Clear? This is the part two book. From this book, we will start our accounts. This book carries 20 minutes. That's why, first of all, we will finish this book and then we will start with our second book. Clear? In part B, the first chapter is financial statement of a company. So this financial statement of a company, as you all know that what we have studied, only the company part we have not studied. We have studied only what? We have studied only financial statement. Clear? Yeah. Now, what's the difference between the financial statement of a company and sole proprietorship? Simple. In sole proprietorship, what we prepare? We prepare in horizontal manner. First of all, we prepare trading account, then we prepare profit and loss account, and the last we prepare final. But in case of financial statement of a company, it is not to be prepared like this. Then how it is to be prepared? We will prepare in the form of vertical. Here only we will draw the columns like this. In the first we will write particular, note to account, current year balance, then previous year. That means we are making the comparison of two years. In case of company, clear. Yeah. But in last year, we not prepared like this. We only prepared for one year balances, and on the basis of that, we prepared trading profit and loss. And hope it is clear to all of you. Now we will start with the concept of financial statement of a company. Meaning is same, but little bit difference is there. Financial statement are summarized statement of accounting data, which provides information as to profitability and financial position of the company. Here again, I'm repeating, we are talking about only the company. So what we have studied last year, sole proprietor, abhi usko chodo. What we are going to study, we are going to study only about the company. Clear? Yeah? These are prepared at end of given period of time for business. And we all know that financial statement, whether it is a sole proprietor or it is about company, always be prepared by end of the accounting. Nowadays, as per companies act, it is to be prepared by 31st of March. That is the year closing, the financial. Clear? So we will prepare what are to be included as per section 2 40 of the Companies Act. We will prepare balance sheet that is known as position statement. Statement of profit and loss that is also known as income statement. Statement of profit and loss. 
in sole proprietor we call it profit and loss account but in case of company again i'm repeating in case of company it is known as statement of profit and loss next notes to account notes to account is basically it's a summary of all amounts what we have written in the balance sheet in balance sheet the first item we will write share capital only the word share capital comes in the balance sheet but we all know share capital means equity share and preference shares so we are writing only the total of equity and preference in balance sheet and the remaining part we will show in note to account clear okay? next comes cash flow statement cash flow statement basically the sources of cash and cash and cash equivalents sources and application sources that means what is coming in the form of cash in the company and application that means what the company are spending that the application of cash we will again do it in the remaining chapter in other chapters we will do it so don't worry about that it is not clear we will do first of all we will only study about the balance clear now we will look at the format of the balance sheet one more thing i want to tell you student please note down the format of the balance sheet first of all the meaning of the balance sheet then format of balance sheet in your note so you should be able to understand what we are doing clear in format of balance sheet first comes equity and liabilities the first point here written it's in roman 1 equities and liability equity basically is the are the liability towards the share that is the clear that's why it is known as equity in equity and liability the first point is shareholders fund what is the first point shareholders fund in shareholders fund we include share capital in this share capital we will write what i already explained you equity shares and preference shares total of equity shares and preference shares next we will write reserves and sell these reserves and surplus are the accumulated profit which are not to be meant for distribution as dividend they are accumulating some part of the profit that is called as surplus and reserve that means some amount are keeping aside for future right i will explain in detail later on next one is money received against share money received against share warrants means that the amount which we have received from the shareholders and the certificate we have issued on that certificate we have not mentioned their name so it is a bearer certificate and as the name is not written there so we will call it share clear now look at the meaning of share capital i want that you people also note down amount received by the company against share issued for subscription whatever the total amount the company received in the form of equity shares or in the form of the preference shares whatever the amount company received is termed as share capital next comes reserves and surplus reserve means amount set aside out of profit and surplus to meet future uncertainties prospective losses or to strengthen financial position so i already explained you surplus means accumulated profit not distributed as dividend some of the amount they have to keep aside 
if they will distribute all of the amount, then how they will run their company. So it is necessary for the company that they should keep some profit for future reference that is done as surplus. Right? Now we will try to understand the meaning of share application money pending allotment with the help of this example. Clear? For example, there are two persons A and B. Mr. A invests 2 lakh rupees and Mr. B invests 1 lakh rupees. Mr. A Mr. A whatever the amount invested as the company issued shares before 31st of March so he got the share certificate he had the proof that he, he is the company shareholder mr b also invested but till 31st of march allotment has not been made by the company to whom to mr b but the company has received money as the company has received money they have to show they can't keep it in their pocket if its share has not been issued so what to do they can't do like that what they have to do they will show it as share application money pending and that means they have received but shares allotments is still pending they will issue they have to issue there is no choice for them they will issue but till 31st of march of the counting year they have not issued they will issue up but this money have to be shown in the balance sheet because they have received money from the shareholders is that clear that's why it is termed as share application money pending so what it is written there this situation arise only when the allotment is made after 30% of amount received by the company but allotment is hope it is clear to uh, you people now 3-4 years back the question came in the board for one mark share application money not pending allotment if you will not look at the word jaldi jaldi maybe you just read it and you will mention it as share capital then we are somewhere to wrong you will not get marks because here the word not is mentioned not means what the share is not going to issue company is not going to issue shares to these shareholders what the company will do they have to refund money that's why it will come as other current one hope it is clear to all of you and please note down what i had explained to you people and hope that you will be able to uh, do it and if there is any doubt we have whatsapp group and in that group please let me know where it is where are the doubts thank you